So hello everyone, welcome to Gate Academy. So as this is the first time I'm coming to this channel, I would love to give a brief introduction about myself. So my name is Shipra Chavla and I am a personality development trainer. Today, through this video, we are going to cover certain myths about the Gate examination. So let's start. So first of all, I would want to tell you what are the things that we are going to cover in this video. One, we will see what is Gate. Number two, we will see the eligibility criteria for GATE examination 2023 and number three which is very very important is that what are the options available for students once they score well in GATE examination or once they clear the GATE examination. So GATE, G-A-T-E which stands for Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. Looking at its full form, many of us would, you know, uh, believe that this exam can be given only through the, uh, only by the engineering students or the students, engineering graduates or the students who are in the final year of their engineering. However, this is not so. So we will, as I said, uncover certain myths. So let's start. So GATE is a test being conducted at national level jointly by IISC, Bangalore and seven IITs, which is Rurki, Delhi, then Guwahati, Kanpur, your Kharagpur, Chennai and Bombay on behalf of National Coordination Board GATE, Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education, Government of India. This year, IIT Kanpur would be conducting GATE in February 2023. So now, let us look into the eligibility criteria. So any student who is in the final year or have completed a degree program in engineering, technology, architecture, science, commerce or arts is eligible to apply for GATE 2023. Earlier, only Indian origin students were allowed to give the examination. But now, international students who are from Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Ethiopia and UAE are also eligible to appear for the examination. Now, as far as the age limit is concerned, GATE examination does not have any age limit. So, yes, this is the thing. Next important thing is that you need to know is that there is no attempt limit as well. You may appear for the examination as many times as you want to. This exam is a computer based exam of like 100 marks, wherein some 65 questions are being asked. It is important for you to know that there is negative marking and a section called aptitude section remains common for all the branches. So another thing which I want you to know is the validity of the scorecard. So the scorecard for GATE is valid for three years. And one thing which I missed mentioning was that the pre-final engineering students are also eligible to appear for the examination. So yeah, this was about GATE examination. Let us now see what all options are available with you once you clear your GATE examination. So MTEC is the most common gateway for students once they clear the GATE examination. And with good score, you, you will be eligible for stipend as well. So you can take admissions into different IITs, triple ITs, NITs, IISC, Bangalore, and also in some state and private universities as well. Now, the second opportunity lies in public sector undertakings, which we commonly say PSU jobs. You can get a prestigious job at more than 200 PSUs like BHEL, ONGC, then we have NTPC, we have BARC, we have HPCL, we have SAIL and many more. Number three, you can also opt for a PhD program with a good score. If you held a BTEC degree, MTEC is not mandatory for BTEC graduates, engineering graduates to go for a PhD program. So yes, PhD program is another gateway which opens for you once you clear your GATE examination. So GATE examination scorecard is also useful for higher studies abroad and international universities like National University of uh, Singapore and there are a few more universities. Again, you can go for fellowship programs. So I am of a fellowship program in management. It is basically a doctoral program of the IIMs. You will get a PhD degree in management if you uh, opt for the program, right? 
you may also go for research opportunities you know after clearing the gate exam in some research based organization another uh, thing which is worth sharing here is that many state electricity boards also collaborate with iits to recruit through gate examination some of which are west bengal state electricity distribution company limited then is your punjab state power corporation limited and orissa power generation corporation limited so students you may also offer pg diploma in management if you have a valid uh, gate scorecard so national institute of industrial engineering mumbai offers different courses in pg diploma and in industrial engineering manufacturing management and product management as well so uh, so far we have like discussed uh, what is gate and then we looked into the eligibility criteria and then of course the most important thing the avenues which opens up for you once you clear the gate examination so these were some avenues these were some about opportunities that you can uh, you know uh, try your hands on once you have a valid scorecard once you have a good gate scorecard with you so yes so at last i want to tell you that i will repeat that this year iit kanpur would be uh, conducting uh, the gate examination and the dates for the examination are 4th 5th 11th and 12th of february 2023 you may visit their website www.gate.iitk.ac i n for more details and also you may fill the examination form which will come somewhere in the uh, end of august and uh, it ends on i believe somewhere in september so yes i would love to wish each one of you all the very best you guys are left with a very few days so yes fasten your seat belts and do prepare well for the examination all the very best and i will see you guys again bye bye take care